What this technique allows us to do is to uh, utilize and capitalize on the relationship between the veins of the body and the arteries of the body. Unlike arteries, the veins are generally larger and they're more compliant, meaning they'll allow for larger things to be inserted in them without injuring them. This technique called transcaval transcatheter aortic valve replacement was pioneered by doctors at Henry Ford Hospital and since then there have been 55 cases done in the entire world and the 55th case uh, was done here at Oklahoma Heart Institute. With a regular transfemoral TAVR the idea is that you um, go through the femoral artery the main artery in the groin like a heart cath and you uh, go up through the femoral artery, through the iliac vessels, up into the aorta and the heart, and you put a new valve in. The main limitation to that approach is that you have to have iliac vessels, which are the arteries in the abdomen and pelvis, large enough to allow for delivery of the valve. Many of our patients are older, and uh, many of them are ladies who are often petite, and so they have smaller iliac vessels. The only other option is to put the valve in through surgery in the chest, a minimally invasive surgery, but surgery nonetheless. In order to capitalize and take advantage of the good properties of the vein, what we do with transcaval TAVAR is we make a connection between the major vein and the artery in the abdomen, and the major vein is called the inferior vena cava, and the major artery is called the aorta, and we carefully make a connection between those two structures which are not normally connected in the cardiac catheterization laboratory using specialized equipment, and once that connection is made, we cross over from the vena cava to the aorta, and we can do the TAVAR like a normal TAVAR, except we've bypassed the iliac arteries which are too small in the case of these patients that need this procedure. We then have to close that communication with a device, in this case a ventricular septal defect closure device, a VSD device was used and that closes that hole so that the patient doesn't have any internal bleeding. This will be just like a regular TAVAR for those patients. Our patient who had the 55th such procedure was out of bed that same day. She's actually going home today, two days after her procedure. Most patients will know no difference between a regular TAVAR and this approach. It's a fantastic method to help these patients who don't have other options for them to avoid any kind of heart surgery or chest surgery.